precious angels how y'all doing today so i basically just came on here to do a little you know chit chat like precious chat with y'all um so just to give y'all you know some motivation i feel like you know the world that we're living in today sometimes you just need a you know a little push a little motivation you know just a little encouragement to keep going like y'all the world is literally so crazy these days everybody wants to live like the jones instead of just being like they like themselves so i'm just coming over here just to let y'all know it is okay to be you it's okay to have the things that you have it's okay to be where you are today because you know sometimes god well not sometimes but i know god move on his time so just because y'all see someone else have something that y'all might want it just may be their time and sometimes it best for it not to be your time because i do know like so we be want to be and we just be want to be like and people Play, like we just want to be in people's shoes so bad to the point where it's like what if we get them shoes what if we get in on four shoes then what could we handle it could we not handle it so i just be thankful for like where i'm at today i know a lot of folks they're not happy with who they is within themselves like that's where you have to start it like i'm telling y'all you have to get your mindset right first. In order to do anything in life, you have to do the inner work. I know I always people always be like, oh, you know, you got to put the work in. But you got to make sure that that inner work is put in as well. What do I mean by that is, you know, read a book. Read a book about um, how to get rich. Read a book about self-love read a book about um how to you know be more be more motivated like me yeah it's this book it's called rich dad poor dad i kid y'all not i literally love that book i love that book i read the entire book like in that book that man he say some real life stuff like real life stuff and I'm not a big reader. Like, I want to lie to y'all. Like, I'm not a big reader. I just really start reading probably when I turned, like, 29, maybe 30. Because I didn't want to read books before then. Maybe when I was, like, 29. But since I've been more into my Bible and just reading and then reading motivational books, like, going on Pinterest, reading motivational quotes, like, that stuff motivate me, y'all. But like I stated don't try to be like someone else be like yourself like it gets no better than just being who you are and um being yourself like it's nothing wrong with that i know the world is crazy and i know instagram facebook TikTok. you have these people y'all see and you know don't get me wrong because me also we get so motivated like with their lives but it's not our lives it's okay to live your life like if you don't got a lot of stuff that they have that's okay because at the end of the day that stuff really is like material things like they can't die with it that's how i look at things like i really be putting the inner work within myself y'all like no that i wouldn't lie to y'all like i am big on journaling i'm big on writing down my goals i'm big on trying to figure out things that i want in life what i want for my kids and it's okay to not be there long as you're working on yourself that's okay like each and every single day write down a list of stuff that you want to do that day get that stuff done but don't overwhelm yourself y'all like i feel like i do have to come on here and tell people because it's just so much in the world like it got people want to be everybody else but themselves like 
<laughs> excuse me like everybody just want to be everybody else with themselves but y'all learn to love yourself learn to love yourself i'm not gonna like i'm telling you when you learn how to love yourself the rest comes with it when you learn how to give god time the rest comes with it like i'm so for real like with myself y'all i used to like when i was probably in my 20s probably like 24 around 24 through like 28 i used to always wonder like dang why am i this age but i ain't got so you know i ain't got how can i say it why am i this age but i ain't got that much you know like the most the 24 to 28 year old but then i thought about it god want me where, where, where he want me at where i'm at today is where god want me at god does not move on anyone's time hold on y'all he do not move on anyone's time he move on his time I don't care if you 20, I don't care if you 25, I don't care if you 30, I don't care if you 40, I don't care if you 50. God literally moves on his time and nobody else's time. And that's something that a lot of people have to think about and look at. Like me, I'm always thinking, like it don't matter what, I'm always thanking God for every thing like everything like my my whole routine of the day is when i wake up i'm giving god praise oh I, I don't just grab this phone right here and be scrolling mm -mm. i give god praise i you know get stuff done that needs to be done and that's another thing a lot of people don't they always the first thing to do when they wake up they want to grab their phone sometimes give that phone a break and just get stuff done i know that y'all have stuff to do around y'all house because i definitely do so i just try to take out the time to get stuff done you know i do now don't get me wrong TikTok, instagram facebook all of that stuff is cool you do have people that you see on there that they just motivate you they they make you want to do better um uh, make you want better don't get me wrong but a lot of people like to do a lot of comparison but it's no need for that just be you anything that god wants you to have you're gonna have if it takes 10 years you're gonna have it i'm just i just feel like so many people are just in this world they just so stuck on you know society what other folks got going on worry about what you got going on can't worry about everybody else because they not you and i just hope that this video come across somebody that really 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 need it like really need to hear that i know because y'all i have had some dark days i have had dark days y'all ain't the only one that don't have dark days i have too but each and every day that I wake up, I thank God for every day. All of those hard days, even just after those hard days, I thank God for. Because, you know, he just, he be making a way. And y'all, when I say God be coming through for me, <laughs> God be coming through for you, girl. That's all I can tell you. He come through for you, girl. But just be you. Don't try to be anyone else. Don't try to live like the Joneses. Just be you. Whatever you have, be you. If you got only a bed in your house, you got something. You got something that somebody else do not have. I remember when I stayed in a project and I first said got my apartment. Y'all, I literally had, no, I didn't have anything but some cover and some little sheets for me and my baby to lay down on. That's when I only had cash. But y'all, I was so freaking grateful. I did not kill. Like, I remember those days. Like, I did not care. I didn't kill. I lay right there with him. I made sure he had, like, two pillows, like, uh, on top of each other. And, like, he, cause, you know, he was he was little. He was only, like, one. So, I would make sure he had his little pillow stacked up. And I would just lay him, like, on top of it so he won't be on the hard floor. And, baby, if we went to sleep, i get up and go to work. I did that till I got a bed and everything. I worked my way. I worked my way up. 
like some people some people they come with furniture um everything else but some people don't that's why y'all when i stayed in the project and when i used to get my income tax checks every um every tax season i literally would buy stuff for my house but i would pay cash for it that's how that's how i would do it because that's the only way i could afford it because working at walmart i could not afford it i'm not living paycheck to paycheck but i did what i had to do and that's for you do what you got to do don't be don't be up here thinking that oh well this person it don't matter how they live in it don't matter what they doing all what matters is what you doing, what you got going on. And that's another thing with people. They be too busy worrying about what this person, no, worry about what you got going on. When you put, I'm telling y'all, when you put in the inner work and you worry about yourself, you don't worry about nobody but yourself. Or if you have kids or a husband, you worry about that, you will go a long way. I know this for a fact. It's not what nobody told me, it's what I know. But you have to put in the invert. Gotta go to Dollar Tree. Get y'all one of those little, them little dollar notepads, but they ain't a dollar no more, like a dollar and 25 cents. But go get y'all one of them. Write down your goals in one of the notebooks. And the other notebook, write down 10 year goals or, or write down places that you wanna visit. Just do something every day that makes life, you know, worth living and be positive don't wake up in always being negative wake up positive it'll take you a long i'm telling you it will take you a long way when you change your mindset everything else will change i know this for a fact two months ago well now i know it ain't been two months now it's been about three months now because i know when i um did that video of me um showing my little prayer how, how i be writing down my little prayers that i be praying to god about so it's been about three or four months since then when i decided to read my bible my entire life changed my entire life changed i do not wake up mad sad unhappy I don't wake up like it. I, I wake up very, very thankful. And another thing is too, like exercising. I know a lot of people might not, not, not might be big on exercising because I'm not that big on it as well. But it does help. It help your body and it also help your mind. And it just cleans you like it give you a good feeling. But my Bible, me reading my Bible have literally changed my entire life. And I can't say that enough. Like, it literally changed my life. And I just be sitting sometimes, and I just be thanking God. Like, God, I thank you for changing me, making me better. You know, giving me an understanding when I did have an understanding. Or I couldn't understand what I need to understand. Because, you know, we all, we all be like that. But... That's my little talk for today. I just came on here just to give y'all some encouragement, some motivation to keep going. Like, no matter what, I don't care what life throws at you, you better keep going. You know the, you know the saying when they say, if life um, give you lemons, make lemonade. Baby, you better make it. You ain't got but one life, and you better live it to the fullest. I don't, I don't care if you're on weak, food stamps, Medicaid, um, you live paycheck to paycheck, you rich, you could travel anywhere, um, you middle class, I don't care who you are. Live your life to the fullest. Nobody is better than nobody. Nobody is better than nobody. Nobody. I don't, I don't care. Nobody. A person that got only some sheets like I had and a person that got a whole front of your house, it don't make God don't look at them no different than he look at you. So keep going. And with that being said, I do love all of my precious angels. And if y'all like this video, make sure that y'all like, comment, and subscribe.
subscribe and your girl will see y'all on the next video.